Good morning! Welcome to Lemon Juice for the Soul. This is our regular vitamin for our soul. This morning, our verse is written in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2. It's verses 20 and 21. Let me read it. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. Verse 21, if you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good works. I encounter a short story about a wooden bucket. A young man saw a wooden well bucket. He thought it was useless at first because it had been sitting next to a barn in the sun and used for a long time he could even see daylight between the wooden slats of the bucket certainly this thing would never hold water again so like the picture that you can see there are gaps between the slats but an older man with him tied a tied the bucket to the well rope and let it drop into the water below. In a couple of days, they came back and turned the crank to draw the bucket back up. It was full of clear, cool well water and was not leaking a drop. Like the picture, the water had rehydrated the wooden slats until they fit together as originally designed and the bucket was useful again. Now going back to our verse, it says, In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver and some are made of wood and clay. So Paul wrote to Timothy, and he tries to compare and contrast. Compare and contrast between utensils made of gold and silver and between utensils made of wood and clay. Between utensils that are expensive against the utensils that are cheap. Between the expensive one that is designed for special occasions and the cheap one designed for everyday use or common use. And it is true, both those utensils, even, it, even if it's made out of gold, silver, wood, and clay, both are found inside the home of the master. And both can be used by the masters. Now, comparing and contrasting these two types of utensils, Paul is trying to uh, encourage Timothy to live a life that is not consumed by debating other people, debating about topics that are not really important or um, keeping himself pure against any temptations. The reason is that Paul is trying to give the contrast between the gold and silver utensil that is actually designed because they were expensive, designed for special occasion and he is encouraging that Paul try to make himself ready for the master's use, clean and pure. 
On the other hand, it is really true that inside the master's house, there are utensils not only made of gold and silver, because there are everyday activities that needs the common utensils. If you've heard the name William Carey, Reverend Billy Graham, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., or Dr. John Vernon McGee, or Dr. Dwight L. Moody, or George Whitfield, we may consider them as the big name in the Christian history. They might fall in the utensils made of gold and silver. They are expensive and they are for special occasion. And they have proved it with their life, how they been used in the ministry. But some of us, we may not be able to consider ourselves as gold and silver, expensive utensil, and for special use. We may see ourselves as just the common um, wood and clay utensil. We may be made cheaper than the others, and we are for ordinary use. We may even say, I cannot sing like the other person. I cannot play musical instrument like drums, guitar, or keyboard like the other person. We may see ourselves made of wood and clay for everyday use because we are uh, not like the other person. But I wanted us to focus on verse 21. It read, if you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. So meaning, we may be an ordinary utensil, but if we are always ready for the master, because we are clean, we are ready for use, we may always be tapped to participate in the work in the house of the Lord. Are you made of gold or silver? Or are you made of wood and clay? But the question is, even though how expensive or cheap we have been uh, made, are we ready anytime for the master to use us for the good work? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, truly, we may, we may not be as good as the other people, but we are still found in your household. We are still part of your body. We may not be the ones displayed, but our prayer is that continually help us to soak ourselves in the living water, like the bucket, that we may be ready according to the purpose that you have made us. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity that we can soak ourselves in your word. Continue to allow us to soak ourselves in you and make ourselves ready anytime for your use. This is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen and amen. Good morning!